the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 96 of The Daily Mother Swole. We are coming out of hibernation today. We were sleepy, big, bumbling, strumbling bears, and now we are back. We are alive, and we are ready to get back in shape. So if you're a big, portly, round, rotund, massive manly or womanly, bear, or you feel like a bear. You feel just completely, completely like a big, fleshy bag of shit. Let's just be honest. You feel like shit. Let's just be honest. You feel like shit, probably physically, probably mentally. You kind of feel guilty that you fell out of working out. You feel guilty that you haven't been working out. You just, I feel like a huge bag of dicks. Yeah, there's many different shades of horrificness that you can feel when you're not working out. The point is, you should be working out, exercising. Like I've always said, you don't have to do the weight training that I do. I'm trying to give you guys some insight. If you like to do cycling, if you like to do spinning, if you like to do Zumba, you know, it really, it's about you getting moving, being happy with your body and happy with your life. Okay. That's what it's really all about. When it comes down to it, you have to be happy with what you're doing and happy with yourself, and happy, happy. If you're happy being 500 pounds and you're really honestly, truly happy, then you do that. You know, it's your life coming down to, I'm not here to judge. I'm just, you know, generally most, most people want to be fit. They want to be in shape. It's just the obstacles to get there. It's the obstacles. It could be formidable. You don't know what to do. We, we know the drill, okay? You want to do it. It's a lot of work. You're not putting the effort into it. You know you're not, and you're not getting the results because you're not putting the effort into it, and it's just a vicious cycle of, oh, I can't do it. I don't want to get started. It's that momentum. It's that launching pad. That first hump, that first hump is the worst part to get back into it, to get off your ass, to get your mind right, to train your mind, to completely reshape yourself. Ah, oh, thanks for the support, Larry. I appreciate it. So let's go into, I have about six or seven things that I want you to think about. They're not the be all end all, but there's some things that you can really, a lot of times a checklist, a checklist will help organize things and it keeps things into perspective and it gives you kind of like a, you know, it's like a, it's like a shopping list in the store. If you go to the supermarket and you're just walking, let's say you go to the supermarket hungry. If you've ever gone to the supermarket hungry, worst fucking idea ever. Worst idea ever. My supermarket is right next to my gym, so I work out and then I go to the supermarket. It's terrible. It's terrible. I'm getting better at it, but I really, you know, it, it's hard not to overbuy, especially when you're hungry and especially when you need food. Like, I need to get food, I'm hungry, and if you don't have a list, I usually eat the same things regularly. So when I go there, when you go there, if you have a list, you get the things on your list and you leave and you leave. Yeah, yeah, of course you can mess with me, Larry. Absolutely. So, Uh, A list will help you get through and get things you need to get done, not wasting your time on other things. So let's go through the first one. Number one, know your why. Know why you're doing it. You need a reason. You need an intrinsically motivating reason to get in shape. If you are not, if you do not have something like a, a, it could be, I just want to look better. I want to look better naked. Uh, There's, you know, I want to look better for my spouse. I want to play with my children. I want to look better in the mirror. I want to fit into this bathing suit. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, what the reason is, it just needs to be something that's going to generate that discipline. So you need to you need to know why you want to do this, really why you're doing this. Not for anyone else. It has to be for you. If it's for someone else, it's not going to be really motivating enough. It's not going to be uh, a disciplinary uh, theme enough. So you need to know why. Figure out really the root reason why you want to get in shape. Why do you want this? Why is this important to you? Why should you? Um, that why will be your glowing oasis at the end of the desert. Number two, make a plan. You need to have a plan of attack. Are you going to, like, what kind of exercise are you going to be doing? You need to figure out what you need to do. 
Do you have access to a gym? How are you going to get there? Do you have children? Do you need someone to watch them? Does a gym have daycare? How many days a week can you go? Are you going to go in the morning or the evening? Are you going to go before work or after work? Are you going to make your food the night before? Are you going to do a meal plan? Whatever it is. Whatever it is, you need to make a plan. And it doesn't have to be something that you spend weeks and weeks on because a plan is bullshit and a a plan is a waste unless you take action. You could have a plan, you could have the best plans in the world. If they just sit there on your table or on your phone and you do nothing with them, they're worthless. They're absolutely worthless. So you have to just, the most important thing is to start, okay? So make a plan and start are just kind of like synonymous. Like get an idea, figure out what to do, and then just start doing it. Start being more active, go for a walk. The most important thing is to get moving more. Get your body used to a schedule where from eight to nine, you exercise, I wouldn't worry so much about what exercise you're doing if you're really lost and you're really a novice. Of course, you can start watching my material and start getting some insights and learning some basic exercises and getting yourself, you know, learn about your body more. But you need to uh, start moving, just start walking, start making it a point in your life to scheduling time for fitness and exercise. So you have that as dedicated hours in your day, like this is when this occurs. And then when you get consistent with that, then you can also always just manipulate what you're doing in that time frame. But that needs to be consistent, that needs to be a part of your life. That, that's a habit, that's a habit, but you need to schedule it like you would schedule a doctor's appointment, like you would schedule picking, picking your kids up from school, like you would schedule, you know, you know, Netflix or watching your favorite TV show or something like that. Okay. Uh, now you need small goals and long-term goals. So when you're exercising, it's great just to get moving, but you should have some goals There's something that you do want. That's could be your why it could be something related to your why you could want to lose a hundred pounds, but that you can't be walking around with a hundred pounds in your head all the time. That's very, you're not going to lose a hundred pounds overnight. It's going to take months, months, and could even be years. So you need to keep that in mind. Yeah. One pound at a time. So you start with those weekly or bi-weekly goals. So every week or two, your goal is to lose a pound. And then you hit those goals, and then you can even make them more aggressive if you're losing at a faster rate. But you make goals that you can achieve that are challenging. So let's say you're hitting a pound every time, a pound a week every time. Maybe your goal is a pound and a quarter or a pound and a half. You make it so you can still get it. You're not like, hmm, I'm losing a pound every week. Let me do five. Because you're not going to hit that. It's just discouraging. Let's say you're losing two and then three, but you're not getting five. Two or three pounds a week is fantastic, but you're still discouraged because you're not hitting that number five that you set. So make it something that you can achieve. Make it something you can be consistent with. Um, The same thing with strength, same thing with muscle size or with measurements or with pictures in the mirror. Make it something that you can achieve and then that will add into your long-term goals. So you got short-term goals, weekly or monthly. Then you have long-term goals, six, eight, 10, 12 months down the line. Then you have something you can set your eyes on that bullseye now, which will lead if you do that regularly to your long-term goal. Number four, consistency. It doesn't matter what you do. doesn't matter what diet plan you have. doesn't matter you know, if you work out in the fanciest gym. doesn't mean, matter if you have the nicest equipment. doesn't mean, if, doesn't matter if you work out in your basement. doesn't matter what you do. If you're not consistent, it's worthless. You could eat great for a week and eat bad for a month and then work out great for three days and work out and don't work out for five days. Um, you could send me a message on Snapchat, Larry. You could send me a message on Snapchat or Instagram, all so enormous, okay? Um, even on Facebook too. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're consistent. You have to be consistent. So whatever you're doing, make it a regular thing. Three days a week, four days a week. Just do it regularly. Do it regularly. Daily, daily, three days, four days. Do it on a regular basis. Number five, nutrition and water. Really, I don't necessarily overload yourself with too much at first. It's very overwhelming for a lot of people. You don't realize it to work on get your exercise going, and then, oh, I got to tighten up my eating, and then you try to do everything at once, it's overloading, If it's overloading, and a lot of times, it's just too much for people to handle, too much change at once. Change one thing at a time, you know, have, have one, you know, big shift in your life at a time, get moving first, and then usually the nutrition will follow in suit. You'll want to eat healthier, but you can tweak that in the weeks coming up. Start to maybe keep an eye on your calories, start tracking your cal- caloric intake, what you're eating, you know, you'll know, most of you know what you're eating. When it's something bad that you're eating, you know you're eating something bad. So just start tightening that up. Start eating more vegetables. Start eating, you know, getting rid of the processed foods as you start exercising. And there'll be a combination of you wanting to naturally just eat better because you don't want to waste your time in the gym. And also, once you get your consistent routine with working out, then you can start tweaking your diet more and pay attention to that because you've already created more of a habit. You don't have too many things you're trying to change at once. If you're trying to eat small, healthy meals a day, and then you're trying to work out like this, and then... 
a lot of times those types of new, that's why like the, the new year's resolutioners in January and February and March, they burn out because it's too much. <clears throat> it's I'm finally going to lose my weight this year. I'm finally going to do this. They start eating. They do juice cleanses. They start working out every day and they do cardio in the gym. They go hard and they crash because they don't have the discipline. They have temporary motivation. It's surface bullshit. They don't know why they're doing it. They're just doing it because it's, they're doing it because it's a date. Because there was fireworks and the numbers on the calendar said 1-1, one, one, all of a sudden, hey, I'm going to start fresh. It's a new year. It's the same fucking day every day, really. Unless you're like an astrologer and you're like, oh, well, the moon's aligned with Neptune at this point. It's, it's the same day. The sun rises tomorrow. The sun rises today. The days get longer or shorter depending on where the earth is. The number on the calendar is human created. It means nothing really much. You know, it really doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. So it's just another day. Don't use that as an excuse to start. That's why I don't like when someone's like, oh, well, I'm gonna, let me start on the first of the month. I'll start on, no, you're not motivated. People that want to do shit, they do it like, I want to start tomorrow. I want to start today. You want to start. You want to get going. If you do, let's say you don't have the money for a gym membership. You don't have the accessibility until the first of the month. That's fine. Watch my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash swolenormous. Look at my exercise videos. There's some stuff you could do at home. You could do planks. You could do hip bridges. You could do some core work. You can start walking. You can do push-ups. You, know, you can do some stuff at home and be consistent and start being active and start making some changes before you even, you know, it's how bad you want it. It's how bad you want it. Uh, number six, I'm going to put these in combination, sleep, recovery, yoga. That's all great. I mean, obviously, sleep is important all the time, even if you're not exercising. Recovery is super important. Stretching, that's also part of sleep. Uh, yoga classes are great. So let's say you don't have access to a gym. You can look up on – if you're watching me here or you're watching any of my material, you have technology. You can look up a yoga routine or a yoga video and start doing that. It's a great total body workout. And it's just relaxing, it's centering for the mind, it's stretching, it's lengthening for the body, it's fantastic. Weights are not, everyone should be doing yoga, so incorporating yoga, especially when you're starting off or implementing that later as like another step towards getting in shape is great. So yoga is great anytime, and that, it's number, I, I put that as number six, you know, with other things coming first, but you know, the sooner you could jump into that, you don't have to do weights before you start doing yoga. You do both at the same time. It's just a great thing because some people can't make it to the gym. So yoga is a fantastic way. You can lose a lot of weight. You can help a lot of, you know, you can reduce a lot of pain and injuries and prevent injuries. And it's a great way to start the day. And that gets me thinking, man, I, I want to do some yoga today myself. So that is something that you should uh, look into big time. And last but not least, with everything being said, every fucking day. Number seven is every fucking day. You have to do it. I know I say consistency, but you have to be consistent every fucking day. So does it, consistency isn't even enough. The word you have to be consistent. That's subjective almost. Consistency could be once a week, every week. Now you, you need to be doing this every day. You need to be thinking about it. That's why it's called, you know, they say fitness is a lifestyle. Fitness is life. Fitness is everything. So it's a lifestyle if you're choosing fitness, but everything has to do with fitness anyway, whether you're, you know, I'm a fit person. It's my part of my lifestyle. No, it's life. Your heart's beating. Your body is digesting nutrients. You're sleeping. You're dealing with hydration. Your muscles are contracting. Your, your posture exists. Everything is life. Fit, your, it's, not a, it's not a lifestyle. It's just life. Fitness is life. And, I, and, I've, and I've had a, a daily swell on that. Fitness is life. It's not a lifestyle. It's what you do. It's what your body is. So it's how you take your body, how you go about your existence and treat your body with respect and mobilize and motilize and keep your body moving, stress it, overload it, develop it, you know, improve it. Everything is a little step forward. So as you move forward in life, yeah, part of taking care of yourself. It's, it is taking care of yourself. It is yourself. You are a fit person. You are a human being. You have muscles. You have It's everything. So you have to do it every day because it's happening every day whether you like it or not. That's, a, that's really what it means. It's all the time. So it's happening all the time whether or not you're like, hmm, this is a new hobby of mine. It doesn't matter. You're still doing all these things or not doing. If you're not exercising, then you're getting stiff and you're getting brittle and you're um, creating movement compensations and pr improper movement patterns. So whether you like it or not, if you're not exercising, if you're not doing corrective exercise, if you're not doing postural adjustments, then you're doing the opposite. You're hurting your posture. You are creating tight musculature. You're creating stiffness. You're creating, you know, arterial or whatever, you know, disease or heart disease. You know, you are perpetuating the opposite. So think about that. If you're not doing proactive, if you're not helping or improving your fitness, you're actively doing the opposite, like passively. You're just, you know, through, um, uh, what's the word? 
negligence. You're just, you're just by just passively just not doing anything about it. You're just, just omitting it, omitting. So you're not maybe like trying to hurt yourself. You're not necessarily like downing like, you know, you know, 15 beers a night, but you're just not doing anything to promote or to on the positive. Yeah. You're working against yourself. Make sense. I'll stay for a few minutes after on Periscope and Busker. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 96 of The Daily Mother Swole. If you're just following me, of which I don't know why you're just following this podcast because it's bad ace. You could also catch this later on YouTube and also you can listen in to all of my podcasts on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher at Swole Normus. And you can always catch me live at noon Eastern time on Periscope and Busker on Zidele. I'm everywhere, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, obviously Periscope, Busker, YouTube. I am everywhere. Everything at Swolnormous, swolnormous.com, all over the place. So check me out, follow me, and let me know if you have any questions. And let's get out of that hibernation state. I am there like a bear myself. Today is going to be probably shoulder day. Oh, if you don't know already, I broadcast live workouts. You can see those older workouts on YouTube, but also you can see them on replay on Periscope. So follow me there if you want to check me out live, getting live gains, just getting massive live on camera. How sick is that? I'll see you tomorrow for episode 97 of The Daily Swole. Peace out. (laughs) 